What's up? Right now, you're feeling a bit like Alice. Yeah. Tumbling down the rabbit hole? Kind of a lot. Like that? I can see it in your eyes. Wow, those must be special glasses. Sweet. You're here because you know something. Do you know what I'm talking about? Not really. Okay. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Yeah, that's the ticket. Mmm. You want one? It's awesome. There is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. Uh, let's see, depopulation. Yeah, there, there are some people who would like to reduce the population of the planet. If you go outside the city of Atlanta, go east about 60 or 70 miles to the town of Elberton, and then go north on Highway 77 about 10 miles, you'll find off to the right what's called the Georgia Guidestones. Looks kind of like stone. There's big, huge granite rocks set up there. This was done by a guy, we have a pseudonym, came in, paid cash, had this company set these things up in 1980. He called himself R.C. Christian. Uh, but that's not his real name. It says it right on the stones, a pseudonym, false name. On these Georgia Guidestones, it gives the Ten Commandments for the New World Order. Ten Commandments for the New World Order. The, fir the first commandment was to maintain humanity under a half billion. I went there and looked at those things and said, oh, hold on a minute. Today's population is six billion. They want to maintain humanity under one half billion. Looks like a lot of people got to die for their plan to work, which is, by the way, the plan. As Jacques Cousteau said, we'd have to eliminate 350,000 people a day. A third of a million people a day would have to be eliminated to save Mother Earth. Uh, Bill Clinton said we need to reduce the population of the Earth to one billion. There are a lot of folks who would like to reduce the population of the Earth. The Bible command is quite the opposite. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the Earth. You know, God said, go fill it, have a bunch of kids. The Bible says he designed it to be inhabited. So, no, it's... Uh, Absolutely the opposite of what God wants. Came in, paid cash, had this company set these things up in 1980. He called himself R.C. Christian, uh, but that's not his real name. It says it right on the stones, a pseudonym, false name. He called himself R.C. Christian, uh, R.C. Christian, R.C. Christian, R.C. Christian, false name, false name, false name, false name. Wrong. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone.
Egyptian. But the new pharaoh is Tuthmosis the third. But now he is a king with a nation to lead. To the Egyptians, he's a living god. His body, a sacred object. But to his enemies, he's simply a young king with no experience of battle and a feeble hold on power. Tuthmosis comes from a long line of warriors. A century and a half ago, the founders of his dynasty expelled the ancestors of the Prince of Kadesh from northern Egypt. Syrians and Egyptians have struggled for supremacy ever since.